Hi, my name is Ken Boss. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing with JN White, and I'm here today to talk about the don'ts in handling a membrane switch. A major don't in handling a membrane switch is creasing or bending the tail past a 0.100 inch radius. In doing so, you're going to crack the tail or crack the screen printed silver circuit, rendering it ultimately useless. What I mean by that is a radius like this, 0.100 minimum. You really don't want to go past 0.100, and you certainly don't want to crease the tail. Another don't in handling a membrane switch, especially one like this that has an embedded LED, is you don't want to flex the entire switch. Flexing the entire switch can cause damage to the contact with the LED, the electrical contact, rendering it intermittent, or in the worst case, failure, it won't light at all. Some additional handling advice to a membrane switch with metal domes inserted for tactile feedback. You don't ever want to press the metal domes like I'm doing here unsupported. You always want to have it on a flat surface or mounted onto the product that it's going to be mounted onto. If you push that metal dome unsupported, it will most likely push past bottom and invert, causing the metal dome to fail over time. One last piece of advice when applying a membrane switch to your substrate, whether it be a metal panel, your housing, the product itself, is that you don't ever want to put it on unaligned or crooked and immediately rip it off to try and realign it. That pull in removing it, once it's been adhered to your substrate, will pull the metal dome past bottom and ultimately invert or oil can it and render it useless or certainly reduce its longevity over time. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and have a great day.